Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and other stuff you geeks can use. The Locker Gnome Daily Report is brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix. GoToAssist makes it easy to control your IT world from one simple cloud-based platform, provide live or unattended support to any PC, Mac, or mobile device from anywhere, even from your iPad or Android device, with the free remote support app. For a free 30-day trial, visit gotoassist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code Perillo. And if you're saying that you don't have an iPad, guess what? We're doing an iPad giveaway with Citrix. This iPad here could be yours. If you could host a meeting from anywhere in the world with the free GoToMeeting app on the iPad, where would it be and why? Share that story on Twitter and use the hashtag PerilloiPad to qualify for this giveaway. And speaking of iPads, I hope you guys caught the live unboxing of the iPad mini as well as the iPad 4. A lot of you seem to track that very well. I also posted a couple of videos showing off the lack of performance of the Microsoft Surface, which has now been reboxed and will be returned to the Microsoft Store. And yes, I will be recording that experience for YouTube. Stay tuned. We've listed a handful, if not all, of the Windows 8 keyboard shortcuts for you here on LockerGnome.com. In case you're trying to figure out your way around the OS and you don't want to touch your way through it, use keyboard shortcuts. I've always loved keyboard shortcuts. Another reason why I love living cross-platform, although sometimes my key mappings get confused. Would you buy a smartphone made of bamboo? That's what this is. It's made of bamboo. Like, that. that's, that's its construction. Suppose if you're a panda, you might like it, but what about humans? Are you a fan of wood? Would you buy a bamboo smartphone? Logitech has released the T650, a wireless rechargeable touchpad for Windows 8, which seems to be an awful lot like Apple's magic touchpad. But if you are looking for a Windows 8 optimized touchpad, you may need look no further than this product. We spent our money to buy it to review it for you. So, well, don't thank me. Thank Ryan, and he likes it a lot. Graphene is putting a new twist on smartphone technology, literally. Thanks to this miracle metal, which apparently my dog Wicket can't stand, it really hasn't happened yet. You can now have bendable, transparent, working smartphones. Technology that flops intentionally. Minutes before recording this video, I uploaded Diana's initial impressions of her new iPad mini, and suffice it to say, she loves it. There have been a few comments coming in, including questions like, why didn't you buy her the Kindle Fire HD or the Nexus 7? And the answer is very simple. She wanted an iPad mini. And when you don't give your woman what she wants, you, you always give your woman what she wants. Enough iPad mini talk! You're getting me jealous! Well, don't be too jealous, because one of you, if you happen to be following me on Instagram, I'm Chris Perillo there, by the way, Instagram just rolled out web pages for profiles today, well, at least starting today, and if you're one of my followers, no matter where you live on the planet, one of you will be getting this iPad mini on Thanksgiving Day. Follow me there, now! But Chris, I don't have an iPhone or an Android device! You can now get Instagram for Chrome! It's easy to install, and you can browse and interact with Instagram from your desktop web browser. Did you like Windows Live Messenger? Too bad, because they're killing it. Skype is now Microsoft's instant messenger. Guess I don't have a problem with that. Skype, Skype, he's our man. If he can't do it, I don't know. Subtle but suggests that Apple may be exploring the switch away from Intel chips for the Mac. Guess that makes sense. I mean... They have their own chips in their mobile devices, why not their desktop or traditional laptop machines as well? I don't have a problem with it, so long as I don't have to worry about it. If it's more affordable, great, but really, it's all about performance to me. Can they match performance or exceed performance? I mean, at least exceed the performance that we see for Macs today. Apple reports that they've sold 3 million iPads in 3 days, opening weekend. Pretty big numbers. But it's a little curious. We don't know how many of those iPads are the new iPad or the fourth gen iPad and how many of them are the iPad mini. They've blended them all together. So they're looking at iPad as one unit, at least as far as the new iPads are concerned. Can we just call it big iPad now? Well, I guess not. They don't call it Big Mac. They call it Mac and then, then Mac mini. According to F-Secure, Android malware surges despite Google's efforts to bounce dodgy apps from its platform. Careful what you download, guys. Slashfilm posted this image made by Tom Hodges. What a Star Wars theme park 
might look like. And uh, suffice it to say, I would go. I don't care where on the planet it would be. I would totally go here. Wow. Yeah. Our question of the day is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. You can get three domains for $5.99 by using the coupon code 599Chris when you check out. And this question is simple. Is it too late to buy the Retina MacBook Pro? It's not too late, uh, but I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I, I bought one, uh, and I love it in, in, insofar as it is the fastest Mac that I own. This is my video processing machine. In fact, I'm connected to it right now to record TLDR. And it works well in that way, but I would honestly wait a couple of generations if you can wait till the video card gets better to be able to handle that retina resolution. Otherwise, you have to mess with the resolution settings on your own, which I've done using the free tool Quick Res. Thanks again for all your support, guys. We hope you are sharing the things that we are creating for you no matter where you are. Just know that we appreciate you as much as you appreciate us. We'll see you later.